Asset Depreciation Codes Declining Balance with Switch versus Declining Balance without Switch Depreciation is the method of allocating the cost of a tangible asset over its useful life. Businesses depreciate long-term assets for both tax and accounting purposes. The former affects the balance sheet of a business or entity, and the latter affects the net income that they report. CISPRO allows different depreciation types or methods to be applied to assets. Depreciation codes can be applied to all depreciation books, such as book value, tax value, and all alternate valuations. The Modified Accelerated Cost Recovery System, or MACRS, is the current tax depreciation system in the United States of America. The MACRS only allows declining balance and straight line depreciation, and for this reason, CISPRO allows users to use the declining balance with switch and declining balance without switch depreciation methods. Declining balance with switch. Declining balance depreciation is an accelerated method where depreciation is calculated using the declining balance and the straight line method. The system compares the two values and uses the greater of the two as the depreciation value for the asset. The depreciation rate for the declining balance method can be as high as 200%. Declining balance ensures that the depreciation of an asset is greater earlier on in the asset's life. This is useful for assets that lose value quickly, such as cars. Therefore, initially, the declining balance depreciation exceeds the straight line depreciation value. Once the straight line depreciation value exceeds the declining balance depreciation value, a switch is made to the straight line calculation. Annual depreciation is calculated as the original cost minus the accumulated depreciation multiplied by 1 over the number of estimated useful years multiplied by the declining rate. Straight line depreciation is calculated as cost minus the salvage value over the estimated useful life. Lenny's company has purchased a large delivery truck for $150,000 that is estimated to have no salvage value at the end of six years. His depreciation rate is 200% and will be calculated as follows. For declining balance depreciation, the cost minus the accumulated depreciation, which for year one is $0, multiplied by one divided by the number of estimated useful years multiplied by the depreciation rate will give him a depreciation value of $50,000. For straight line depreciation, the cost minus the salvage divided by the useful years gives him a depreciation value of $25,000. He will continue to use the declining balance depreciation as it has a higher depreciation value. For year two, the declining method will give him a depreciation value of $33,333. Straight line will continue to have a depreciation value of $25,000. Again, Lenny will use the declining balance depreciation method as it still has a higher depreciation value. For year three, the declining method will give him a depreciation value of 22,222. Lenny will now use the straight line depreciation method for the asset's remaining life as it now has a greater depreciation value of $25,000. Declining balance without switch. Declining balance without switch depreciation method uses the same formula as the declining balance with switch depreciation method, only now the straight line depreciation method will be ignored and the asset will only depreciate using the declining balance formula. If we use Lenny's example again, he has the delivery truck with $150,000, which is still estimated to have no salvage value at the end of six years. His declining balance depreciation rate is still 200% and will be calculated as follows. The cost minus the accumulated depreciation multiplied by 1 divided by the number of estimated useful years multiplied by the depreciation rate will give him a depreciation value of $50,000. Using the calculation, the following depreciation values for the next four years are Year 2 will equal $33,333 Year 3 will equal $22,222 Year 4 will equal $14,815. Year 5 will equal $9,877. For Year 6, 
at the end of the useful life, the cost minus the accumulated depreciation of $130,247 multiplied by 1 divided by the number of estimated useful years multiplied by the depreciation rate will give him a depreciation value of $6,584. The depreciation from year 1 to year 6 differs substantially and at the end of 6 years the truck will still have a salvage value of $13,169. To recap, declining balance depreciation is used by the MACRS in the USA and its depreciation rate is determined by the IRS depending on the product class. It is calculated with either straight line depreciation or by itself. This method ensures faster depreciation earlier on in an asset's life and is used when assets lose value quickly. When calculated with straight line, whichever depreciation value is greater, that value will be used when calculating the asset's depreciation, even if it means switching depreciation methods during an asset's useful life. If not used with straight line, the declining balance depreciation method will be used for the asset's entire useful life.